guys welcome back to the channel um today we are diving more into some uh politics and this one's gonna be more about the shooting the assassination attempt on trump i'm gonna let uh trace uh, lacy and what, what, what was i think what am i thinking here <laughs> Yeah, Lacey. I was. And, I was saying, glitched out in real time. Uh, I did. I literally. Shout did. out, Tracy! Oh you're on our mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was looking straight at Lacey too, and I was like, "Well, Tracy? No, that's Lacey." <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah. No, uh, and it's here. We are. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. Is kind of podcasty, like, um, and we're going to talk about. Trump's uh, attempt assassination and debunk try to debunk some things with you guys. We've seen we've come across some things that. Um, yeah, I was getting ready to say the same thing. Like because you know when this all came raw, unfortunately I wasn't able to record last week. So um, and I have lots of opinions. And since there's been so many things that have kind of unfolded as the week has gone on, um, definitely thought okay let, let let's touch base because let's let's yeah. let's talk about some of the conspiracies behind things you know do we ever really know what happened will we ever really know what happened um so let's let's watch a few videos and have a conversation guys let's 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 see what's going on let's yeah, do so it first we're gonna watch uh you know the we we need it we need to go back over the shooting so we're gonna do that first you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Let's turn right here. Yep. He just looked back at that chart and it saved his life. That old ass chart. Now, in this frame, at one point, like, well, you know, I, what I'm trying to figure out is where was Corey? Was he in this corner? I think he was almost got, directly behind Trump. Well, yeah, well I, wa I watched a Corey video. Was, okay, you see on the bottom right hand corner where people are like kind of looking over in this area. Uh, it's on the far right hand part of the stage and back up a little bit like yeah that's you can kind of yeah, see so where he people was are all like pointing and looking yeah yeah he was all the shot to the side yeah uh you can kind of see where people are bending down and like looking and stuff and it he was over there uh because okay, so like okay that's what and i can't i hate the fact that we can't see because i can't point like we can't yeah. point i no one can see where i'm pointing to so, like, if I'm looking directly at the screen, um, then it would be to my left, correct? Well, it's like the, the opposite. The oppo no, the opposite side. The shot mm -hmm. came from the okay. side that the flags are on. It can't like the bullet tra like went past Trump and then into that side of the crowd. The so the side you see where the telephone pole is. Yes. Just go down yes. from there on that side. Okay, see, that's where I originally thought, and then I saw a different video, and I thought I saw the flags, so I was really confused on what direction I was looking at things. So, yeah, from, um, uh, that's originally where I thought, but I wasn't sure what direction the shot came from. Because Trump was looking towards the, like, so it would have been his right, but our left. Toward the, so the our flags, left, a little bit. Yeah, he was looking that way, and the shot came from that side. Uh, okay. I, because I saw a reenactment on a computer screen, so it's like he was on a building to like if you're looking at the stage to the left, so the trajectory was like the opposite way. Okay, because <laughs> I've, I've watched this video a lot trying to figure that out, like and, what what, what direction that, it came from. Yeah, and one thing that always kind of got me, like Trump's already on the ground. Why is he still shooting? Or was that the fire from the other people? That was that shooting? was the return fire. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, uh, 
trying to put all that and together. that's and then you hear afterwards you can hear him say shooters right. down shooters down okay yep right. okay sorry we're clear. We're clear. We're clear. We're clear. We're clear. which is i think why trump felt like he like it was okay to stand up and like be like yeah. i'm okay like shooters keep down. fighting yeah. i'm good yeah gotcha. so like i think that's why he knew it was okay to let me get my shoes stand up so we gotta move to how do you yeah, lose his shoes? shoes? Well, it would have scared the shit out of me out of my I'm shoes too. I'm thinking that he fell to the ground so fast, and if they're slip-ons, they might have just fell off. Yeah, you know, he probably like, had some okay. loafers on. Yeah, he had some old man loafers. That's what I'm thinking. That's what he gotcha. Yeah. Watch out! Not that I'm paying attention to his feet or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That's basically the video. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I was, and I was trying to watch it because I was also trying to, so, because part of this was to de debunk things, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. because some of the things I saw was, well, why did it take Secret Service and whoever to it take four, five, six minutes or whatever it is to get Trump to, to the vehicle? I'm like, but it didn't. No, it, it didn't. literally didn't. Like that video was only two minutes long, and that's from Trump talking to the shooting, right. him out down on the ground, back up, and then into yeah. the vehicle. So yeah. right there, like people need to stop. Like yeah. you know, uh, okay. yeah. No, it was. I, I to me, the problem is not even how they went off or whatever. It, it was every like everything that happened leading, leading up, up to to, to, to it. Yeah, that's what I think is more important. That's where they fucked up. You know? Yeah. And you know what's what's even crazier is I was sitting here thinking is because like if Trump hadn't have turned his head at that moment, it would have it would have hit him directly in the brain and that bullet would have stopped and Corey would still be here. Corey wouldn't have died if Trump had it died. Like Corey literally took a bullet for his president. Yeah, exactly. He did. Well, but my thing is, are we so my thing is, is though there were several rounds shot, right? So it was it the same bullet that hit Trump's ear? That well, I think it was just one bullet. But then the several the shots after that were the uh, counterfire. Them shooting him. The other. Really? Because I, I really guy guy. Yeah, because the, there was a he sh he let yeah. off a few rounds at first. Like he did. Before. Yeah, he did. It definitely was uh, pop, 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 only... like at the beginning. Yeah. Oh. Like, yeah, he, was, he was finger happy on that trigger. Because like, if you listen closely, the sound of the guns are different. Like the pop, pop, yeah. pop, and then the return fire, it's different. That's um, so several shots use. went off because um, mm. because the because you got to think three people in total were shot. Mm -hmm. So you had Corey, who uh, you know, rest in peace, he he passed away, and two other that were injured. So um, we just don't hear about them. Oh, I, I thought them. they. I heard they were injured. I didn't hear they got shot. Yeah, they were injured by bullet. Yeah, yeah they, oh, they were they were shot. They were in critical yeah. injury. Uh, Trump went and seen them and talked with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were critically injured. So, um, mm. uh, but has there been I, any know, word so, on those people? Are they like in recovery now? Or uh, I think, yeah, I think they're they're all stable. Yeah, they're, they're stable. stable the two, the other two. I I don't. I think it might have been another gentleman and a woman. Okay. Um. So I, I, and then, and then of course Corey recipes. Um, yeah. you know, so, uh, that's why I was trying to see like where at in the video, like did everything happen with Corey? And I was trying to understand like the trajectory of the bullets, like how things would have happened. Yeah. Um, I wish I could find, I wish I knew that the, the video I had watched, I wonder if it's in my history, maybe I can find it and it shows you exactly where the, the guy was and how it lined up. Uh, let me go back to my history while y'all continue on. Yeah, we can actually pull up because then there was also I went. So here's where all you know. We for one, we can stop with the whole, um, you know, it started by the left. You know, oh, it was staged. It was this or that. Please, you know, I don't want to hear it. 
the man, uh, you know, uh, bullet in his ear and, you know, a, a, a person died and two other injured. Like, um, you know, I'm pretty sure that staging it, Trump's not going to be like, OK, I want you to just hit my ear and you're going to kill that guy and injure those two. OK, like that's how that's going to work out. Like that's not that that that's bullshit. I call bullshit. It's fuck. No, it's bullshit. Right. So. And so and it just wonders, I, I keep wondering, then where is the breakdown? Like, how did anybody even get this close? Like, it sounds ridiculous to me. Like, what? so was this like negligence or was this planned like inside? Right. And that's what I want to know. This video that you have, I've seen it. I seen it when it first was aired. It was uh, live when he even spoke about it. And so I remember mm -hmm. this. I remember this guy and the things that he said, I'm like, what the hell happened? Yep, and this so I definitely want to. Yeah. Yep, it's a happened. good one. To to watch, and I've got something to say about it too. All right, Lacey, are you ready for me to play this? Yes, I am. But um, we noticed the guy crawling. Oh yeah, right? I've seen They're I've seen this too. The roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. You right. can clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And... Next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there like pointing at him for, you know, two. Sorry, this ain't YouTube. I can't just hit a button. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> so, exactly right there. He, he's telling authorities, hey, there's a guy on the roof. The police are now aware, right? They're letting them know. Why is Trump still speaking? Mm-hmm. As soon as somebody knew anything, why is Trump still speaking? Why was it anything initiated immediately? Like oh, not you should... they 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 saw they saw the guy. They had eyes on him an hour prior and spotted him with a rangefinder. Like they knew he was dangerous an hour before the speech ever took place. And he had yeah. a rangefinder which is used on a rifle like and then he was able to climb, he was able to get a ladder, climb up on top of the roof with nobody else noticing. But then when they, when people were pointing it out, the cop climbed up there, climbed up the ladder, said he turned the gun on him and then he left Just, again. Didn't tell this, anybody. Because I'm sure somebody's going to come in the Because they already knew. About the, about the range finder you, you mentioned, because the range finder is also used in golf. So. <laughs> well, okay. Yes. But this was, I mean, this is on. obviously not a golf course, so. No, but it was suspicious enough right. that he should have been engaged an hour have, prior to the speech. And, there even, should and have he been, should have been detained. There should have been somebody on top of that roof the entire they time. Said, they said they lost him. That's why they didn't find him. But they should have paused everything and okay, not let Trump up on that stage until they found that guy. I'm telling you, because it, they let bullshit. it happen. They absolutely right. let it happen. I believe they knew that, it was happening. That's, that's why they didn't pay attention to anybody. It's bullshit because... There was plenty of people. There's video evidence of people say, look, screaming at people like there's somebody on the roof up there. You know, I've seen a lot of it. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. That was, you know what I'm saying? They let it happen. They knew right. it was going to happen it, way before people ever pointed out that there was and a guy on the roof. They already there, knew about it. Why was there, what, one or two, maybe three women security? Uh, I mean, um, um, special secret secret. secret uh, well, services? there's there's like. There was one that looked like she that, was hiding. I don't know if it was just like, if she was just ducking out of the way. It kind of looked like, but it was apparently DEI are no hires. Near, even tall enough to even tower Tom or uh, Tom Trump to to protect him. <laughs> <laughs> None of them were. They were all and uh, he. They have been shorting him on Secret Service. They they have been giving him baby basically the JV team and they've been asking for better Secret Service agents for way right. before this ever happened and he's been denied and I'm telling you. Trump needs planning. to get his own team to say, to take care of him. Not don't yeah, he needs security. private security is right. what he really really needs. Honestly, right. um, okay. 
absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Because this ain't gonna probably be the last time somebody somebody got close, so they're gonna probably try again. My theory. Are you ready to just finish this? Yep. In three minutes, Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this, and next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? 100%. 100%. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up there. You up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. At least three or four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police and the Secret Service. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service. They were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see Binoculars. Him? Could they see him? Probably not. Because the roof, the way that the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But, but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is... Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I, I don't understand where the fuck the breakdown was. I mean, that's scary. In okay, I found uh, I, I found something. I'm going to share. Uh, I found the... Uh, well, it, it's it's not the exact video I watched, but it'll be... It'll clear. It'll show you where everything was, how Carol wanted. I'm going to put it in the Discord so we can grab it. Okay. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. It'll show you all the positioning. It's a little bit longer. It's like a six-minute video, but it's mapping it all out. Sure. Don't mind me. I'm going to eat a little bit of chips, guys, while we watch. Uh, I haven't had dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's, my dinner's sitting in front of me. <laughs> yeah, I need to... I still need to make dinner. It's the 13th of July. Shoot it. Okay. Let me put this on. All right, guys. Y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So this this will kind of show it's the 13th you. You can of see July right here in the Butler, building is over there on the left. Former US President Donald <coughs> Trump speaks at a rally. It's only days until he plans to accept the official Republican nomination. He's just minutes into his speech when shots are fired. Take a look at what happened. Trump got hit, but survived. Someone tried to assassinate him in broad daylight. Here is how it unfolded. By the time this video is published, new details might have emerged. It's a hot, sweltering early evening as tens of thousands gather here to see Trump. Pennsylvania is one of six vital swing states that will help secure the win in the next presidential election. Butler skews heavily Republican, and it is a blue-collar town. This is a big crowd. This is a big, big, beautiful crowd. He is surrounded by supporters. Most are sitting or standing in front of the stage. Some sit on the bleachers, center, left, and right. Trump's support staff and security, including Secret Service agents, are right at the stage. Behind him are three large buildings. On the roof of the building on the far left and on the far right are Secret Service snipers. They are constantly scanning the surroundings, looking for threats. They can be seen in this video filmed by a crowd member. Hello, Butler, and hello to Pennsylvania. I'm thrilled to be back. Trump begins with his speech. Things seem normal. He turns to the right and points at a chart showing statistics on border crossings. At the same time, several people in the crowd notice a man with a gun on the roof of a building close by. He's got a gun! Shoot him! He's got a gun! It's too late. Take a look what happened. All of a sudden, bullets start flying. One even gets captured on camera. Another building, about 400 feet or 120 meters north of the stage. The shots are coming from here, on the roof. The gunman is 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. He is armed with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. The gun was legally purchased by his father. First, he apparently fires a round of three shots. Take a look at what happened. Trump reaches up with his hand. The first bullet pierces the upper part of his right ear. He will later say that turning over to the right at that exact moment 
prevented the bullet from hitting him right in the head. He ducks down behind the podium, and within three to four seconds after the first shot, Secret Service agents swarm the former president and shield him with their bodies. Crooks opens fire again, immediately, with five more shots. Oh, five more shots. See, that's what I'll... They right let him get... The they, by Crooks, they let one him of the get more shots the left off. Behind Trump seems See, that's what I was wondering, because, like, yeah. why was he able to get more shots in, and why did he even want to Oh, well, that shots? just that just made me more convinced yeah. than ever that that was fucking planned, and le they let right. that shit happen. Because... Why Trump's on the ground? He can't. He's not shooting Trump no yeah. more. So why? Well, why and, is he still shooting? Yeah, and that Secret Service agent, the one that's in the picture right there, he said that he was told to stand down. They had him in his sights with a gun three minutes like prior or something like that, and he was told to stand down. I don't know if that was ever like corroborated or if they had like evidence or proof of that or whatever that it was even him. I think posted that I, thing, but it was supposed to be. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. Was there any legit source saying that he actually came out and said that? Cause I don't know. Yeah, I was, I was wondering. Yeah. Well, we're okay. gonna find sure. out. I promise. <laughs> I'm on a mission. Just to detect the gunman and prepares <laughs> yeah. to return fire. Said, Take a look at what happened. Some outlets report that these snipers killed crooks, while the Secret Service confirmed its personnel neutralized the shooter. We could not corroborate that it was in fact these specific agents. The gunman also hit spectators on the bleachers. One man died, 50-year-old Corey Comprador. Oh, Two others where... were critically injured. With Trump's microphone still on, we can hear the tense exchanges the among the agents. About 42 seconds after Crooks opened fire, they confirm the shooter is down. They prepare to escort him to an armored vehicle. Let me get my shoes. 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 Hold on your head. Bloody. So we gotta move to the bus. Let me get my shoes. Pause it. That's the first time I ever heard that. Hold on, your head is bloody. Yeah, because the blood was on his. Yeah, I've never heard it before. I've watched this a bazillion times and I never caught that. Because I keep hearing like. People are trying to say, like, oh, well, you know, he had a blood packet splattered on his ear. But he's got a hole in his ear, so. <laughs> yeah. That I makes think. sense. Anyways. Yeah. Watch out. Wait, 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 wait. In about 75 seconds after ducking to the ground, Trump raises his fist. He's mouthing the words, fight, fight, fight. The resulting photos immediately travel around the entire world. The crowd starts to chant for the former president as he leaves the stage, bleeding. Trump is then rushed to a hospital. Later that night, he is flown to New Jersey. He appears to be well. Badass. There are a lot of questions we don't have an answer to right now. Why were the forces unable to prevent the attack? Analysis on X suggests that at least the snipers on the roof behind Trump were likely scouting for dangers further away, with this rooftop possibly falling into the responsibility of other law enforcement agents. We were unable to corroborate that. Why couldn't our men climb up on this building? What was Crooks' motive? The gunman had no criminal history in Pennsylvania's public court records. The New York Times found a voter registration record for Crooks. It shows that he was registered as a Republican. They also found that he donated $15 to a liberal voter turnout group through a Democratic donation platform in 2021. He was a kitchen worker and had a membership at a local shooting club. The FBI found suspicious devices in both his car and home. They are being evaluated by the agency at the time of this recording. The investigation is ongoing and new information is being published by the minute. President Biden and various leaders around the world condemn the attack and political violence at large. The picture of Trump, bloodied but defiant, with a raised fist in front of the American flag, will surely become a powerful symbol in his re-election campaign. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, it just, it, to me, it's too, it's too obvious. Like, like what? Like how? 